The Edible Garden Project is it's an opportunity for us to provide something for the kids, to give them a, a look at a different perspective and a different approach around healthy eating, around nutrition, about locally sourced produce and about something being self-sustainable. Curbs provided us with a facilitator called Dave uh, who came in and kind of explained to the kids what the concept of the program was. Well it's all about getting the kids ported down in Craig Avon, think about where their food comes from, how you're going to grow it, harvest some lovely tasty vegetables, and hopefully take them home and put them in sandwiches and lunch boxes. Um, well we started the kids off planting seeds into the raised beds that we've been building. We've also been planting them into cups and they've been bringing them home and putting them on their windowsills, bringing them back to the project and nurturing them on. As part of the program then they planted the vegetables, watered them, maintained them over the summer and now they're able to see the fruits of their labour. Well today we're in our community house 18 and 19 Union Street. We're doing a garden session for growing different fruits and vegetables. I would say it's like going to be really good fun to like learn how to create things like this and it'd be a good experience for us all. Projects like this learn them to respect themselves, respect the community and also respect others in the area. And so their confidence have grown and their self-esteem has grown. Well it takes the kids up the streets, it gives them something to do. And, uh, Help them to grow with each other and bring in some life skills into the young people of, around the community. I like gardening and I like digging stuff up and like planting stuff. They're helping the area and like making it tidier instead of like going and playing football and racking. It gets them out and it gets them moving, gets them working as a team and mixing with other kids. It's just great physical activity and they learn a little bit about food. Some of them will maybe have an interest for life. They were given the opportunity to do something completely different. The results of that have been the kids now do knock the office door and say, how are the plants coming on? Can we go out and see? Are they ready yet? They've, they've gained interest in something that they would not have had the opportunity to do so otherwise. It's a great thing for the youth club because it creates another point of interest for the kids to come down and see the garden evolve over the months and hopefully years. Their skills have been lost and I think it's time that we started the juice again to hear the younger generation. This programme is trying to get the kids first-hand experience and then once they've developed their own skills and their own identity that they will bring the older generation in uh, for their parents or their grandparents with the aim of getting all the generations together from young to old. If the kids have searched through the gardens, they're going to harvest what they've collected. We were picking the vegetables. There were beetroot, carrots, potatoes and onions. They're going to go inside with David and they're going to cook it all up and make some chocolate brownies and eat them all. Ideally the way we'd love to see the project progress in the future is that some of the kids will take up the interest in gardening and start to pass those skills down to their peers and younger people in the community and so that we sustain projects like this over the years to come. These ones that's on the programme today can go out and bring other kids in come on and see what we're doing. I would like to go and see the other um, youth gardens. We would definitely do a programme like this again and we're really keen for those here to go out and see what other clubs have been doing and at the same time welcome kids and leaders from other clubs to go and see what our project led to.